Hi, my name is LaShira, or Lash Nolan, and I'm a senior health and human sciences major, and I am the president of ASLMU. I think being ASLMU president has challenged me in that it's really made me be more reflective about who I am as a leader and really just finding ways to encourage and inspire those around me. So I'm really about making sure that my team is strong and making sure that, or hoping that they find what their passions are. So I think the ASLMU being in this leadership position has really forced me to do that because everyone is so talented in so many different ways. So it's just helping other people find the courage um, and what they can do and what they're capable of. I think the, the major difference that I've seen is that people are people on campus are becoming a lot more comfortable in vocalizing what they're passionate about, um, about what their political views might be, and I think that a lot of that has to do with the presidential election that just happened this year. Um, and while it has been difficult for a lot of us, I think that it's a beautiful thing that people are being um, vulnerable and honest and genuine about how they feel. And I think that it's really created this um, diverse type of culture and, and aspect of our campus. So that's the biggest difference I've noticed. I always just try to to take a step back and just listen to music. The bluff is like a huge thing for me. I love like late night walks on the bluff. I sit out there and I'll just pray sometimes. God is huge in my life, so I always try to take time to just pray, to read the word. My grandma sends me words of the day every morning, so that's kind of how I keep up on my scripture and things like that. But I just really try to take a step back and just remember that my mental wellness is just as important as everything else. When I have a bad day, I call my mama. <laughs> She's like my everything. And you know, I know when I call my mom, she'll get me right back on track. But there definitely are bad days. There's difficult days. But I think that as long as you know that you have those different things that you can do, like running or praying or having that person that you can depend on, I think all of those things help so much with helping you get back on track. So, yeah. Me and President Snyder, we, we talk quite a bit. Um, I work with him, we, we have like meetings about every month. And also he's just been really awesome this year with wanting to just come out to our different events and supporting students. And he'll just like text me. We, we actually like are on like a phone number type basis. So he'll be like, hey Lash, heard there's gonna be a unity march. Can I come out or would you like me to come out? So he's just very supportive. Um, and I think that he, is definitely one of the more woke presidents that, that you'll see. So yeah, I really appreciate him. So my mom is always, um, she's always been someone with a great heart, always wanting to give back. And this is a program that she launched this year where she just has various different types of service events with different themes. So she had a breast cancer awareness luncheon in October and before that, um, in the summer, she did like a wine tour where all the funds went to House of Ruth, which is a domestic violence shelter in San Bernardino. And now she's going to have um, a December brunch to help sponsor a homeless family for Christmas. So um, it's just something that she wanted to do to just bring together uh, women of color to do something positive for the communities in San Bernardino. So yeah, super woman. I love her. The, the legacy that the two other African-American uh, women who were ASLMU president, Alberta Brinson Moore and, and Judge Irma Brown, they're just such phenomenal women. And I think to look at them and to see all the amazing things that they've done and all that they continue to do for LMU is, is so inspirational because it's something that I hope to continue to do, to continue to give back to LMU and to continue to show other um, young women and men of color that they, can, that they can also be involved as leaders here on campus. So that is something very special to me and I hope for the rest of my life. I really hope that 
by me being in this position and by me being ASLME president as a woman of color that other individuals on this campus who feel underrepresented or who feel like they may not be able to hold leadership positions um, on this campus because they don't feel represented, that they go out there and they just do it and make it happen because if it's in your heart, if it's in your dreams, you can definitely make it happen for yourself. So I really hope that that's, that is the legacy that I will leave, but um, I think that it's up, up to other people to decide, so yeah. Um, so my ultimate goal after my undergraduate education is to attend medical school and become a physician and specifically I want to work with communities that are suffering from type 2 diabetes and obesity, especially in low income communities. Um, so I'm looking at MD programs that also offer a dual degree where you can get your MD and your master's in public health. But until then, I would like to take two years off to experience life a little bit before I go into the books for the rest of my life. So I applied for a Fulbright scholarship, which is where you can basically, um, you the government funds you to go teach English abroad, study abroad, or earn a master's degree. So I applied to teach English in Spain for a year. And if not that, I'm looking at uh, post-grad service programs.